hit combo. It's going to combine a little bit of both classes. So we'll be doing two minute strength intervals with a one minute hit interval. So we have six different rounds of that. We repeat each round two different times. All right, so you are going to need to have your weights nearby. You can go with something a little bit heavier. I'm warning you, I'm gonna go a little bit lighter because I just did a, a really long race yesterday. So don't do what I do, do what I say. Okay, so heavier weights. Um, get your water, keep it nearby. Get your mat out and ready to go. And we're gonna get started warming up here. So let's just start with a little bit of a shuffle side to side. And if you have a watch, you can go ahead and get that started as well. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, side to side, lunge. Go right and left, side to side, toes face forward. This is coming up in our first movement, that side lunge. So it should feel familiar when we come back to it. And start to reach that opposite arm over towards the opposite leg. For four, three, two, one more of each. Good, let's take it down into a squat and a reach. Squat and reach. This is another great way to modify a jumping jack. So if you ever need a modification for those, here it is. Four, three, Two, one, good. Step back into a lunge. Step back into a lunge. So just alternate that right and left. Think about dropping that back knee down towards the ground. Get that nice stretch through the front of the thigh. And then we'll start to take opposite elbow towards opposite knee as we lunge. We're twisting down. Four, four, three, three, two, two, one more each side. Then we're coming to a wood chopper. So hands are together, chop down to one side, up to the other. So another move you're going to see tonight, power down, power up, warm up through that core, through those arms. Three, two, one, and one. Get the other side, start down low, go up and down. Your feet are pivoted, knees and toes always in the same direction. Protect those knees, strong up and down. Three, two, one. All right, good, come into a little shuffle again. We are just about ready to go. Go ahead, grab your weights. Our first move is a lateral lunge, side to side, and we're adding in a side slide. So we really just need one weight for right now. Okay, one weight for right now. We're here for two minutes. Put that weight in your left hand. Bend your left knee in that side lunge. Bend right knee and fly. So go left, right, fly. Good. So I'm leaning forward. I'm working against gravity. Left, right, fly. Good. This is for our rear delt, the back of our shoulder. Weight is in that left hand. Whenever we do that side lunge to the right, that's when we fly. We're on the same side, and we're keeping it here for a while. So we're working the back part of that shoulder. Make sure that arm is doing the work. So here's the thing, each of our straight moves is going to be followed by a power move. That power move is going to work many of the same muscles that we're working in that straight move. So by the time we come back for the second round, we should be pretty tired. Now we 
we are sinking back into our hips every time. So we're really pushing those hips back. If I were to put a chair behind you, or a bar stool, you'd be able to tap it with your glutes. Keep going. I want you to keep going with that. I'm going to show you what's coming up next. So no weight. It's a sumo squat jump with an inner thigh squeeze. So we're coming down, feet are coming together, slightly crossing. Join me here. So squat down, jump up, bring them just right across or even to the middle. If you don't want to jump, you tap that heel in, you make it big, you make it quick. So it's that sumo squat. Toes are just pointed towards the corners of the room. Alternate which leg is in front. Get low, get low. Curtsy 
to that regular lunge. Getting that bicep curl down and up every time we stand. Now, a little bit of a challenge. Curtsy and lunge, just tap your toe for just the slightest bit of balance. Or maybe hold that leg up. We're here, we might as well make the most of it, right? Getting in those combo moves. there. 
three, two, one, one. All right, get one weight. We're familiar with this move. Just a slight variation from what we're used to. So same arm, same leg. Let's start with the weight in the left hand and left leg back. So it's a single leg deadlift in row. We're going same arm instead of opposite. So we're coming down, growing up, and coming back to that balance. So your knee can stay slightly bent. Join me here. Other arm again is wherever you need it. We're rowing up, pulling, elbow towards the ceiling. Other leg comes behind. Now I do have a slight bend in my knee, so my hip is pushing back. I row up, I row down, I come back to that balance. And just like that last round, if you want to challenge yourself, don't let that toe touch the ground. Good. So those deadlifts really involve pushing your hips back. We row up, then those hips tuck under and squeeze at the top. Good. Strong row up towards the ceiling. Our cardio power move, very, very similar. We're going to be like a runner coming off the starting block. So you're doing that 100 meter dash. You're at that starting line. You're going to be getting low and coming up. Looks like this down and a hop. If you don't want to hop, you come up on your toe. I still want everyone reaching down towards the ground, same arm, same leg, power up. Here we go, one minute. Show me what you got. Race me to that finish line. So you really have to use that calf muscle. Whether you're just stepping or you're hopping, you're powering off the ball of your foot. Come on, come on. It's not long. 30 seconds. Keep going. Give me all of that energy, all of that attention, whatever is in your head. Get it out of your mind. Focus on you, yourself, this present moment. What are you doing? How can you do it better? Let's go. Three, two, one. All right, other side. So weight is going to be in that right hand. Right leg is back. Single leg deadlift and row. Come down, row up, balance. Easier said than done, right? So if you're really struggling with your balance to the point that you'll feel it affecting your ability to do the move, hold on to something. And that may help. Good. Keep going. So form check, are you pushing those hips back? So many times I see people doing this. That's not the right thing. We're bending the knee slightly. We're using those glutes, those hamstrings to push back and to pull us forward. Feeling 
Get ready for that power move. It's just on the other side. In three, in two, one more. Good, set that weight down. Power move on the other side. So go back and up. So when that arm is coming 
down. Chest is staying lifted. Hips are just pushing back like a squat. Protect your back. Good, Patty. You got it. I hope you feel nice and strong and powerful doing this move. I love it.
Come on, Nicole. I know you can push. Almost there. Now modify for this. You're tapping your foot. You're keeping your foot on the ground. Almost there. Three, two, one. Switch which hand was on top. Okay, so put the other hand on top. Let's start up coming down and up. Now, I feel it totally working. Much more with this hand on top because I have to work so much harder. Just because it's not natural and that's okay. Things that don't feel natural, that we feel like we're not coordinated with, sometimes those are the things we need to work the most. Drop down that wood. That's it, Gwen's ready to go to work. One more. Okay, switch sides. Opposite shoulder to knee. going to have you keep going. I'm showing you what's coming up next for our power move. 
It's X abs, but they're quick. So we're having a big X on the ground. First option, you reach opposite hands towards opposite knee. Second option, you reach your hands towards your calf, so you're coming up a little bit. Third option, you reach your hand or your foot. Join me here. One minute. So knee, calf, or foot. Thighs are pressing down into the ground. 
Shoulders and ears move away from each other. If it's too much here, you can stay on your forearms. Good, bring your feet together. Sink back into a child's pose, so hips are pushing back. Chest falls down towards the ground. Walk those fingertips all the way forward. Tuck those toes under. Push your hips up towards the ceiling. And cycle those heels down into the ground one at a time. Good. Step those feet up to your pants. Go ahead and lift all the way back up. Release all the way out. Fold forward again. This time, straighten your legs out. Let that chest fall down towards your thighs a little bit more. And then gently roll back up. Let's step our feet together. Bring those hands together. And you're going to push your hips away from your hands. Okay, so we're getting a nice stretch from our armpit all the way down through our hips like we're trying to make the shape of a crescent moon. And switch over to the other side. Push those hips away from the hands. Good, take those arms down. I want you to step back with one leg. We're pressing our heel all the way down to the ground. The other hip is forward, and we're really tucking those hips under so that we feel a stretch through the hip flexor in the front of the thigh. Reach those arms behind your back, interlacing those fingers if you can, and fold that chest forward. Let those hands come down to the ground. Drop that back knee all the way down, uncurl your toe, extend the front leg forward, pull your toes towards your shin, lean forward into that stretch all through the back of your leg. Good, all right, bring that leg under, tuck your toe under, reverse everything. So we're back up in that lunge, we stand all the way up, or reach those arms up nice and high, and then we'll switch. So drop your other leg all the way back, keeping it straight. Tuck those hips under, reach those arms up. Lean forward into that stretch, interlacing those fingers, folding the chest forward. Release those hands down to the ground, framing your foot. Drop the uh, front knee, uncurl those toes, and we're sinking back into a hamstring stretch here. So your hips face the toes. Pull that toe back towards your shin. Good, and then go ahead and reverse everything. Tuck your toes back under, come back into that high lunge, stretch those arms up. Step those feet together. Let's just finish with a deep breath all the way up. And out. One more time. Big breath all the way in. Let that heart rate come all the way down. Thank you so much for joining me for Chisel and Hit Little Combo class tonight. I hope you liked it. And hopefully we'll see you for some of the upcoming classes. Thank you.